Cloud Factory again. Thank you for watching my videos. Today I'm going to show you how to make beautiful laces using tatting. In this video we are going to learn what is tatting, how to make the basic knot, how to make a ring, how to make a chain, how to make a beautiful motif like this you are seeing in the screen, what is a shuttle, how can you make your own shuttle if you can find it near of you, and how to read patterns for tatting. So let's start, but before let me remind you in the description of the video, don't forget to read it because you have important, important information there and the links to my network so you can contact me there. Also you can join our Facebook group if you need any help or only to show us your beautiful creations. Now let's start with the class for today. First I'm going to show you the supplies we will need for this. First of all your thread. This one, the name is crochet thread, but the important thing is 100% cotton, as you can see here. It comes in different sizes. This is size 10. You can also find in 20 or 30. I recommend you 10 for a start. You can also use this kind of thread. The name is Iris. It comes in more colors and is kind of shining. It's also for crochet, but for me it's perfect for this technique. And any thread that is similar to this I'm showing you, it will be perfect for this. Then you will need scissors, like this if you have will be perfect, and you will need a shuttle. There are different types of shuttles, but you can use it in the same way, it doesn't matter which kind you are using. This one, for example, it has a small hook here, and in the center it has a reel, a thread reel, that you can remove it by pressing, and you can put it again also by pressing here, after wind it. And the other type of shuttle I want to show you is this one. Uh, also it has a reel in the center, but this one is fixed there. It's not, you can't remove it. This kind of shuttle is open by here. And also here in the other extreme, as you can see, so you can wind it. And in this part is, it has this pointy end that works in the same way that the hook in the other one. Also, you can use this kind of things for tatting. Mm, I don't know the name, but you can get it in any Notion store. This one is useful for store the leftover thread when you are embroidering or sewing, and you have to put the thread in this way. If you can't find it in a store near of you, as you can see, the shape is so easy. You can just copy the shape on cardboard and cut it and use it as a shuttle. But I really recommend you to use one of these two types of shuttles. If you can't find it near of you, let me show you how can you make your own. Take a bottle made of hard plastic and we are going to remove this part where it's um, rounded, curved in this way because we need that shape for our shuttle. Then in this piece of plastic, you have to draw with a permanent marker the shape of the shuttle. It's like a fish shape or like an almond, long almond shape. And cut it. And once you have it, you will get something like this. The good thing about this plastic is you can fold it and it will not lose the curved shape as you can see here. Now use this as a pattern and trace a new one exactly with the same shape. And once you have it in this part we will make it longer and pointy. Something like this. And cut it. You have to get something like this I am showing you. As you can see here is so pointy. And now you have these two pieces. One is bigger than another obviously. Then you will need a reel, a thread reel, and you have to glue it exactly in the center of your pieces. You can use um, cold silicone to glue it or also contact glue, the yellow one. Once it's dry, 
glue the other piece of your shuttle like this so the reel will be in the center of the boat pieces and then you will have something like this and your shuttle is ready. Okay, now that you have your shuttle, let's see how to wind it. That is the first step to start tatting. This one I show you already how to wind it. Only put the thread like that. For this one, take the thread, put the tip through here, near of the reel, and hold it with your finger here, and start winding it, passing the thread through the um, extremes, which is open in your shuttle, like this, until you finish to feel the thread reel. This one is even easier, only remove the, the reel and fill it with your thread. Once you finish, cut here to separate from the ball and insert the reel again inside the shuttle by pressing like this and there you have it. Remember these two types of shuttles, you have to use it exactly in the same way I'm going to show you in this video. Now let me show you a small motif made of tatting to show you the main parts and the basic parts of this beautiful technique. Whenever you see a tatting project, you will notice it's formed by these um, loops made of knots, and the name of this is rings. Now, these are small loops made of a single thread in the outer line of every ring that you can see here, they are called picots. Now, these segments of the project, which are going from one ring to another, the name is uh, chain. You can see change from one ring to another all over this project. Take your shuttle in your right hand in this way with these two fingers and the thread must be hanging down here. Take the extreme of the thread in these two fingers on your left hand and with the rest make a loop in this way passing the thread around your other three fingers and finishing the first point like this. You must get a loop like this and we are going to work in this segment of your thread. Take your shuttle like this and make a loop around your three fingers in this way in your right hand. Put the shuttle under this thread and bring it over the same thread in this way and inside the loop you made with your fingers like this and pull it. Now, as you can see here, the loop we made is in the right hand thread. We need to transfer it to the other thread by pulling it in this way. And now, as you can see here, we transfer the loop to the other thread, which is in my left hand. Bring it near of your finger in this way and hold it there. And to finish your knot, take your shuttle, put it over and then under this thread and bring it out like this transfer it by pulling it like this never never forget to transfer the loop to the other thread that is so important and also bring it near of your finger and this is how it looks your first knot is ready Now at this point we have two knots, you can do as many you want or as many your pattern are, is showing you. And notice that when you pull this thread, the loop on your left hand is getting uh, small and if you pull the thread on the loop, you can make it bigger, depending on what you need. If you can't do this, it's because you are not transferring the knots to the thread on your left hand. That's why I was telling you it's so important to transfer it. Now let's see how to make a pico. Start with the first movement we made for a normal knot in the same way. 
transfer the loop as usual and bring it near your knot but leave a space depending on the size you want for your pico like this and hold it there and make the second part of your knot transfer it and close the knot then pull the thread of your right hand and bring it here to the knots and there you have your pico now let's make a ring first notice that a ring is formed by some knots in this case is one two three and then a pico then knots and pico knots and pico of course you can make rings of only knots also but usually we made it with picos also let's make a ring I already have three knots and one pico and I will repeat the same three knots and one pico three knots and one pico until I reach five picos obviously separated by three knots Once you've finished, you have, as I told you, five picots separated by three knots in between. Now you have to pull this thread, which is coming from your shuttle, in this way, to close your ring, like this. Again, if you can't pull it, it's because you didn't transfer the knots to the other thread. Now let's see how to make a chain and combine it with your ring. For that, we are going to learn also how to read patterns. Let's take as an example this small motif to explain you the pattern and also how to combine rings and chains. A tatting pattern usually looks like this, but in black I made it in colors to explain you in a better way. But you put attention in the shapes here because it will be the same, pretty much the same in every tatting pattern or tatting diagram you can find. In pink color, we have here the rings, where you have to make it and how many. In blue color, we have the picos that you have to make in every ring or chain. And in yellow color, we have the chain. And the numbers you are seeing here near of the lines refer to how many knots you have to make in between picos, either in chains or in rings. So for this pattern, we have to start with one ring formed by three knots and one pico, three knots and one pico until you reach five picos. Then you have to make a chain with six knots, then one pico and again six knots. And then you have to make another ring in the same way we made the first one. Okay, now let's make it. We already have a ring, so now we have to make a chain. And for that you need another source of thread, it can be a bowl or it can be another shuttle. I will use another shuttle. Take the extreme of the thread and pass it through here in the center of your ring. And I will make a knot here in between the two threads I have already. Like this. And now I have two short threads and two long threads. I will cut here to make it the same length. And then with the second thread, I am using another color to show you in a better way. Made a loop, but this time instead of finishing here, I will finish it rolling the thread around my these two fingers unfold it to hold it there and we will work in this segment of thread and start making your knots in the same way we made before made a loop in your right hand put your shuttle under the thread then over and then inside 
the loop and pull it and transfer it. You can see it here in a better way because I'm using two colors of threads. So you can see here I transfer it to the brown thread. But before you put it near of your finger, open that loop and put the two pieces of short thread there inside. Hold it together with this thread and pull the thread on your left hand to bring the half knot near of the ring in this way. Then make the second part of the knot. Transfer it and again put the short threads inside there but this time is from bottom that you have to put it through that loop. Hold it together with the other thread and pull it to finish your knot. In this way we are hiding the ends of our thread. Do the same with two more knots until you complete three knots. And once you finish you will have this. Now we will remove the, remove the excess of thread by cutting here and continue with our chain. I have to complete six knots and then one pico. So let's make three more knots. And now I will make a pico. Hold it there. You can use the hook if you want to make your pico bigger. The second part of your knot. And close it. Then now we have to make six knots more. Once you finish, your chain is ready. Same like in the pattern. Now cut here your second thread. Now we have to make another ring. For that, turn your project like this. And you can make your chain also bigger or smaller by pulling this thread. So let's start another ring. In the same way we made the first one. Also, I will hide the second thread inside of my first three knots, as I showed you before. And again, once you finish, remove the excess of thread and continue with your ring. I need a first pico here. Close it. Then make three knots more. As you can see in your pattern, you have to join your rings in the second pico. For that, I will not make a new pico in my new ring, I will use this one. For that, I have to make a union. Put the hook of your shuttle inside the second pico, and then you have to bring inside of the pico the thread in your loop that is on your left hand. Pull it and put your shuttle inside and close it 
by pulling the threads. Now your two rings are together and sharing a pico. The second pico it will be the same for both rings. And then continue three more knots before the next pico and continue working the same until you complete five picots obviously separated by three knots once you finish you will have this now again pull this thread to close your ring And there you have it, our uh, motif is ready. You can repeat this as many times as you want until you close the circle, for example, starting a new chain from here. And remember, you have to turn down your project every time you will start a new chain or a new ring. Then you can continue adding the half of our motif, one chain and one ring, every time. Repeat the same until you reach this point. At the end, make another chain to join the first string with the last one. And with a small piece of thread, put it inside these two picots and make a knot to finish your motif. And you will get something like this. Knowing these simple things, you will be able to make almost any tatting project you want and follow almost every pattern you have. But if you need any help, please leave me a comment in this video and I will help you happily. Also, don't forget to join our Facebook group to share your tatting projects with us. Thank you so much for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you the next time.